Hey everyone, Jessica here. So in this tutorial today, I am going to show you how I created the design on the left with some very romantic, mystical clouds. And it's definitely a mood. So I'm going to show you how I made that and then you can make your own kind of spin on that using the same brushes and color palettes that I did. And actually, I love this because it's kind of... Um, it's kind of a blend. We've got the clouds, but I actually sampled the colors from these palettes that I'm going to give you from Quartz Stone. So that gives it kind of like the mystical kind of vibe. So I really like that. And I'll have links down below to show you how to load up your brushes and color palettes in case you're unfamiliar with um, using the color blending brushes. Maybe you're new, um, but most of you guys work with my brushes know how to do this. So this tutorial comes with a new little brush uh, set, which is Stars and Clouds. And I've actually given members a peek of a couple of these brushes, but this is a more expanded set of clouds brushes and we have some stars. And then also we have color palettes and we have like seven different color palettes, like I said, that I sampled from uh, Quartz Stone. So it's really cool. So load everything up and then to begin, um, it's all about just kind of layering these brushes and playing with them and playing with the contrast. So you've got a starter PSD, so you can open up the demo and kind of start where I'm starting here. And then we wanna go over to the left-hand side and grab our pattern stamp tool. And I'm just gonna show you the different brushes and show you how you can kind of layer them and make a similar effect. So. I'll grab cloud brush number one, and then I'm gonna get like, mm, I'll grab clouds number three color palette, and I'm just going to start painting here. And this is like very light and soft, and this is probably the most filled in one, but already you can see it's starting to look like some clouds. And these are pressure sensitive as well, so if you have a pressure sensitive pen, you can kind of, um, it'll help control the flow and everything. And that one, I think I have it like, and you can play with the flow even yourself. Like these normally come with like a hundred percent flow. I think that was already lower flow because of the, um, the last brush I used, but I'm just going to go ahead and start. Let's hear, let's go back to my layer and paint. Like we have here, you can see it's a bit more dramatic. And, but what I, with these clouds and stuff, I like to lower the flow sometimes. And then you get like more of a soft effect if you want it. So that's a little tip. I'm gonna undo that last bit. Now I'll make a new layer. And clouds number two brush, I really like. And I like to do it in the color palette number one, which is a lighter one. And I'm going to leave the flow at 100. And and it makes these kind of like cool edgy clouds like you see here. And I really like that. Like you get some kind of sharper edges and it can add some really cool sort of looks to your clouds. And then I'll grab a new layer. We've got clouds number three. I'll grab like uh, color palette number five here. And What's cool is you can kind of like play around with it and like don't hold down the pressure sometimes really hard. You can kind of play with the pressure and you know layer these like this. So I'll make a new layer and I'm going to show you brush number four. I'll grab like a blue color palette, the darker one. And as you can see, it's just kind of, this one's more of a scattered one so it doesn't, um, it's not like really filled in, but it gives you that cool kind of um, edges, you know, the cloud edges you see here. And let's see here. Okay, so that's just kind of showing you the brushes. Obviously, I didn't make anything super cool here, but it's kind of like more is less when you come to this. So I'm going to trash these, click yes, and I'm going to do like a little something like we see over here and just kind of make this little this little thing here. So let's go back and I'm going to get like cloud. Hmm, this is tricky. Let's hear. We'll grab cloud number one. We'll get this number three color palette here. And I am going to make a new layer. 
and kind of just make a little clouds like this. Now I'm going to grab a new layer. I think I'll put it behind it. And for this one, I'll get the color palette number one with brush number two. So we get that sharp kind of edge on there. That looks really cool. So it's kind of all about um, just, just experimenting, see what works good. But that looks kind of cool. So you kind of get the idea here. And now I'm going to create a new layer on top of all of that. And I'm going to go over here on my left and get my regular brush tool because I don't want this multicolor. I want this one color. I've got my white set. And then I'm going to go down and get the sparkles brush. And I am going to just draw a path like this. And now I've got all these like kind of mystical sparkles on this, which is cool. On this one here, I didn't put anything behind it, but I've created another brush so that you can kind of make these sparkles pop a little bit. So if I want, I could create a layer underneath my sparkles and get this behind sparkles um, brush. But when we get this, I want to turn down the flow. So I'm going to go up here to the top to the flow, turn down that flow to like 8% or 9%, something really low. And actually, I need to grab, actually, I was still here on my regular brush. I need to grab my pattern stamp tool brush. Let's go grab that behind sparkles brush again. Let's lower the flow down to about 8 or 9%. And then let's pick a color palette. And for this one, I'm going to pick like the, dark, the blue, cloud 7. And I'm going to follow that same stroke. And this is really cool. And we can kind of like make a little... Um, path here behind the stars and you know you can play around with it see maybe try another color or something that's kind of cool I picked one of the pink colors but it kind of makes the stars pop a little bit so you can have a lot of fun with this I'm not worrying too much about making this so perfect on my demo but just to give you guys the idea and I'm just playing around with this um, and then make sure though whenever you grab your next brush if you change brushes the flow always kind of stays if you if you mess with the flow it'll stay low you know so then you're going to brush with the brush and it's going to be very low flow so when you go if you change the flow like that when you go back to your next brush or whatever you're going to have to take the flow back up but flow is a really nice thing to play with with these cloud brushes and it can add some really cool effects and then I also um, I'll make a new layer here I also added some little stars here and these, like I can go to my regular brush tool, grab my stars, and oops, let's undo that. Uh, as you can see, my flow is still low. So let's turn that flow back up. And you can kind of have some fun and play with some stars in your design. But you can make something really cool. It's just the whole, it, you know, the, the brushes, the color palettes, um, the everything together, it kind of just gives you the whole mood. So... You don't have to make like a social media graphic like I do. You can use this on like an art print. I was thinking for a newborn would be really cute. Um, kind of a spiritual mystical quote graphic. Uh, anything like that. Um, invitations, whatever, you know. You can make some digital papers with this. There's a lot of different things you can do. But this just kind of gives you the vibe and gets gives you a nice creative jump start. And I even threw in here a couple layers with um, one of my 24 karat gold layer styles in case you wanted to make something with kind of a gold accent. So you can just copy and paste those layer styles um, from this document. So that's just a little hidden bonus. And I've got that on there. And then also, you know, play around with like, let me pull this down here. You can also play around with like a dark background. Like you take like this, you can, well, let's see, I'll pick a blue and kind of play around with some dark backgrounds. But it can look really cool and really like, um, I don't know, mystical and kind of romantic. So have some fun with that. Or even you can make it half, I put a clipping mask or no, a, yeah, like a layer mask on here. I'm just going to play around myself with a, like a half, oops, like a half dark, half light. That's quite cool. So you can have a lot of fun, you know. Um, but I like to play around with dark backgrounds, light backgrounds, you know, and you can, there are just so many options. So 
hopefully I've given you guys a lot of ideas. Just, uh, you know, message below if you have any questions and I'll have the links below to the resources. So have fun creating. If you make something, make sure you tag me. I will love to see it and stay tuned for lots of new tutorials, tools, tips, and all kinds of goodies in 2020.